So we'll get back to some more The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Where last time we took care of the entirety of the Temple of Time. Along with getting a useless Dominion rod. Yeah, I, we can't do anything about this right now. Because we lost all of its magic, so... And this time, we're going to be figuring out how to get its magic back so we can get to the sky. So, first of all, as per usual with finishing these dungeons at this point in the game, we're going to go head back to Telmas. So, let's head back to Hyrule Castle. So, this is a weird point in the game where there's really not much happening. Because you... I mean, so far it's been, okay, complete dungeon, go back to Telmas, they'll tell you what to do, do a mini side thing. Oh, God. What the hell do you need me for now? I literally have every item I could ever need. Greetings, Mr. Link. I have come to deliver a letter. It's a letter from Renato. He's eaten all the children of the village. I know this because I joined him. Well, my business is concluded on where to mail. Should I shoot him myself? All right, what, what is this letter from Renato? Because I, I actually don't remember. There is something uh, about Ilya's memory that I wish to tell you. I know that you are busy, but please come visit me in my sanctuary in Kakariko. Okay. So I think... Does it change our... Oh, wait, no, it does not change our... So why is it telling you to go to Kakariko when you have to head to Castletown? Okay, whatever. Yeah, so we gotta go head on over to Telma's because, well, we have to do something with... Uh, Thomas Bar first, yeah. Because the game won't activate the flag until you actually take care of said flag, so. Uh, why are you carrying so much whatever the crap you're carrying, woman? And why is it in a pot? Like, shopping bags exist because I see people with them. Why are you carrying crap in a pot? Uh, people were weird. Yeah, like, you got all these Mallow Mart bags. God, Mallow Mart really did turn into the Walmart of this universe, huh? <laughs> I think it's really funny. Into Telmas. Finally back in Telmas. It's been a little bit since we've been here. Uh, and you got three people back here. Hi, Telma. How's that Ilya doing, honey? I'm sure that shaman will find a way to get her memory back. That's Renato. Uh, that Renato is a talented man for sure. Anyway, honey, you got your own things to worry about, so you just make sure you do what needs doing right now, okay? You unsure about what you ought to be doing, honey? Well, why don't you show your face at Kakariko Village? Our friend Shad happens to be there right now. We'll get into this and that. If you need detailed uh, directions, just take a peek at that map on the table. Okay, that's straight up just a hint. What do you have to say? So, did you find the power of the ancient civilization? If you discover anything, could you be sure to also tell Shad? He has been researching the Uka who are said to be the ancestors of the Hylians. As we speak, he is in Kakariko Village investigating these sky beings. Perhaps you should go see him? He's an avid scholar, so I am sure his knowledge could be helpful. You guys got anything different to say? Uh, you are saying the same thing. Ash, you saying anything different? A mysterious guy. Compliment. You are very tall, by the way. Holy crap. So, if we, uh, no, I don't need to talk to you again. You're kind of creepy looking. Okay, let me look at the damn map. Can I not look at the map? There we go, Jesus. Shad is in Kakariko Village now. Would you check on the children if you had that way, Link? Okay. And don't worry about that missing bow. We'll go after that later. But anyway, we have our next destination. So, onwards to Kakariko. I just figured to skip the warping thing. So, back in Kakariko. Just transform back before we piss off the villagers. And we gotta go and talk to Renato. And, well, by extension, Shad. Which, man, we haven't talked to Renato since the whole Goron Mines thing. Dear God. Finally back in here. And this is where Ilya's been hiding out. Sup, Renato? Ah, oh. uh, I've been waiting for you, Link. Fortune has smiled upon us. If things go well, we should be able to help Ilya restore her memory. Do you know Telma's friend, Shad? Well, it seems he is researching the heavens. He has come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. And as I have learned, when Ilya was saved, she overheard someone talking about the Rod of the Heavens or something like that. 
The Goron Elder believes that to help her regain her lost memories, we must piece together the fragments of her past. Which means, if we work our way backward from the very place where she lost her memory, we may find, so uh, we may find something that will restore it. Now we must retrace Ilya's path. I am certain it was Telma who cared for her before she arrived in this village, was it not? It would be best to speak with her first. Please take this to Telma. Renato's letter! Carefully details how to retreat Ilya to get her memory back. Interesting. It shames me to say it, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. We have a fighting chance, Link. Yeah, that's, that's fun. Oh, God, I didn't even see you here. Hi, Mr. Chunky. Little human, it is time for you to show your manliness for the girl's sake. What? If there is anything I can do to help, just say so. It is in times like these that we must come to one another's aid. Not that you can ever do much to help me, my tiny friend. Just remember who saved you from the dungeon, asshole. Uh, also the elders here. Whether we get that girl's memory back, young, war uh, young warrior, will be up to you. Even our chief, Dobbis, has lost the memory of his dark time. We have not told him that you were the one who saved him. He is a proud Goron, and he could be touchy if he knew he had been saved by a human. On the other hand, he does have a strong sense of moral duty, so if anything happens, you can count on him to help. He is the leader of your tribe. Ilya? Link? I remember being saved from a dangerous situation by someone... Someone who told me all about the Rod of the Heavens. But now I can't remember the who, why, where, what it all means. Do you really think I'll recover my memory? I regret that a complete stranger like yourself got caught up in all of this because of me. I'm so sorry. Stranger for you, but stra not a stranger to me. Let's go speak with Shad. He's down here in the basement, after all. We don't have to go and talk to him, but I think it's just interesting to go and chat with him. Sup, Shad? Oh my, color me surprised if it isn't Link. What a coincidence, meeting you in a place like this. How very odd. Say, old boy, do you remember what I told you before about the legend of the sky beings known as the Uka? Yes, well, there's something about that, uh, something about it that's been bothering me, so I came here to snoop about. To think that you would appear with here with such perfect timing, you really are a rather extraordinary fellow, aren't you? I found it at long last. Observe the statue. It's the same as the one in the manuscripts my dear father left me. There are many similar statues around Hyrule, but this one seems to be different. Here, look at the belly. There's something written here, you see? This too was in my father's notes. It is called Skywriting, I believe. Awaken us with the word that breaks the seal. Yes, indeed, that's what it says. Wait a moment. Isn't that Ilya a friend of yours? She's, it's simply tragic how she lost her memory. And that rod of the heavens she mentioned. I'm sure it has to, uh, I'm sure it has to do so, uh, something to do with the word that breaks the seal. Hmm. Isn't there any way to restore her memory? I'm certain it would help us figure all this out. Yeah. Also, oh, okay, that's a lantern. I thought it was like U Uku just chilling up there. That'd actually kind of be funny if she was just chilling up there, waiting for this to break open. But, yeah. You don't have to go and talk to all of these folks. I just want to show that off. But, you know, how would I scare some... I'm not even in his line of sight. What do you mean? I... Wow. Okay, how do I get out of here then? Oh, there's... Okay, there's crap I can climb. Okay, just climb on back up, I guess. Uh, does this not have a... Oh, it does have a load zone. Man, weird load zone. I thought that would be all in one place, but I guess it makes sense because back when we were a wolf, it had to load in to bring the bugs in, so I guess it makes sense. But anyway, now we have a new objective, which is go back to Telma's. Yeah. Also, the why is the flag still here? He told us to go to Telma's, so okay, back to Telma's. Back to Telmas. I just figured to skip the trip since we've been here so many times. Here is a letter for you, Telma, that we must show you. Hi. Oh, well, if it isn't from Renato the Shaman. 
all this riding and he doesn't even bother to mention a thing about little old me. Honey, that is what I call rude. Well, there's no accounting for the foolishness of a man. And at least I understand Ilya's situation now. Of course I can lend a hand for that adorable little girl. Hmm, what else do I know? The first one to bring Ilya to the shop was that doctor. Maybe he knows something, but he's a crusty old bat, that's for sure. Hey. I've got it. Honey, you go ahead and take this to him. That magic little paper will get that, cod <laughs> that codger talking. The invoice! The running tab, which is an astronomical sun, uh, sum. Yeah, look how much money he owes them. How the hell do you pull that one off? It sure would be nice if he st if she started remembering things soon, eh, Link? Yeah, considering she's kind of my girlfriend that doesn't remember that is my girlfriend. Yeah, that, yeah. God, I could not imagine being in that situation where, you know, I mean, I, I guess it happens to a lot of people who lose their memories and such where, you know, they have significant others who have memory issues or get dementia or whatever, and it's just really sad. But anyway, what we can do is, uh, yeah, we have to find the doctor. Now, this isn't really all that apparent. Um, now, if you still have Ilya's scent as Wolf, you can follow the scent all the way over here. The only reason I'm not doing that is because... You have to transform back into a damn wolf and all, or back into a human and do all that crap. I'm not doing all that. That is unnecessary. And plus, it's kind of obvious of what the place looks like. Actually, no, it's not. Eh, kind of. We did kind of see it over here. Um, and I guess there is this exit if you need to transform and go over here. But this is the doc. Actually, can we? Yeah, there we go. Medical clinic. This is the building we want. So in here, we kind of seen this guy already, yeah. Jesus. Eh, what's that? Just as I wondered who, uh, wondered who might be, I see it's the admirable young lad who is willing to help the Zora boy for a nary single rupee. Just what is it you want, lad? A physical? You've got, you've got some money, don't you? By the way, that girl Ilya didn't mention anything about me, did she? Like you'd have a choice. Look. You owe this bar, uh, like, a million dollars. Look, I, I can't pay this off right now. I can see Thomas hired you as some sort of heavy to strong uh, to strong army, but she'll have to wait. Look, lad, if I if I had been able to sell the wooden statue that young lady had, I would have been able to get that money. But see, I accidentally spilled medicine all over that little carving, which made it stink awfully. I put it outside to dry, but then... <laughs> Well, it was stolen. Who goes around stealing people's stuff like that? What a world. You always have to be on guard, eh? Now, look, Mr. Heavy. At any rate, neither the money nor the carving is here. So, I can't repay you. Now, go now to work, to work. Yeah, so he's just gonna go and work in his little study. God, yeah, you are... What is your physique, man? You are not human. So, what we ought to do here... Since he's going back to work... We could freely transform into a wolf. And if we put on our senses. Um, also, we don't want to scare him. I think we just have to push this box. Yeah, you see this weird green goo, which totally isn't the goo that transformed the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Forget the reek fish and learn a new smell? Sure. Medicine scent. So now all we ought to do is not bonk our head against the wall. Actually, what, what else do you have to say? You're a persistent little bug, eh? I say, I never had the money nor the wooden statue, you great lout. I can't return what I don't have. Ugh, I can't get rid of that medicine stench. I don't have any money, and it rains misfortune, it pours. Remember that, lad. You're just an asshole. That's, that's why you have misfortune. So, now we have a sense that leads us into the thing, which actually I will transform into wolf form. Because, well, we kind of have to. So, meet you guys back in here for a sec. Now, could I have just gone to the place and transformed there? Yeah, but I think it's a little easier to understand if I just transform now. Because now we have the scent. But you don't technically need the scent. I mean, well, you do for the game to progress. But you don't ever need to follow this if you know exactly where everything is in this game. 
But this leads all the way back to Luis. You're looking for that wooden statue that Ilya had, aren't you, dear? Think of it, uh, think it's a coincidence that I happen to know it got stolen from the doctor's place, no? Yes, I'll admit it. I took it. But then I was attacked by some sort, uh, sort of skeletal dog beasts who took it from me. I don't know why those beasts were after her the statue. I thought it likely I, I thought it likely that she was in a dangerous spot though. Those fiends lurk at just outside the southern gate. Unfortunately, they only come out at night. And another thing, they always move around as a pack. You won't get that statue back unless you give them all a thrashing. That statue sounds like a key to getting Ilya's mem a memory back. You must get it back. I could not remember for the life of me of what the hell voice I gave you. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just up. Uh, Really? The cat will get pissed off. Okay, fine. God forbid you can't transform into a human in front of a cat who can't even say anything to their owner. So, next order of business is just as Rui says. We have to sit out here until nighttime and fight some bony dogs. Now, luckily it is evening, so that works out pretty good in our case, but... Even still, it is kind of annoying that we have to do this. Uh, is Agatha out here? Sir? Oh, the, this is open now. Up. Oh, oh, there's the bunny dogs. Hey, guys, how's it going? All right, murder all y'all. They die in one spin attack. Boom. They also drop a lot of rupees too, which is really weird. So yeah, we gotta call, uh, kill all of these guys. Hey, bony boy. Mr. Bones, you're dead. And there's the statue. Did that guy drop a 10 rupees? You got the wooden statue! Oddly shaped statue said belong, once belonged to Ilya. Might be a clue to get her memory back. I'm more <laughs> more concerned about that rupee. Um, I wanna go chat up this Goron. I, you're, you're done with this road. Hey, look, brother. The way is now clear, just as I promised. I do not know where you are headed, but be careful. Thank you, uh, friend. I didn't realize you were done with this already. So now that we have taken care of those, I thought they were going to come later, but yeah, no, they, they're just doing their thing. Now we have the thing we need, so let's head back to Kakariko and try to restore her memory. Figure to skip the warping trip. And we now have the statue. Ilya, you remember anything from this? Oh my god, it's floating. What the hell is this? What? <laughs> yeah, what is this? I I remember something. I was confined somewhere. Yes, and I was saved by whoever was confined with me. And when that person set me free, they gave me the statue. Y yes, yes. I remember that much, but that means that person is still in trouble. Oh, but what is wrong with me? I can't remember where that place was. Ooh. I remember. Wait, how the hell do you know? I thought I had seen that before somewhere. That belonged to the tribe that protected the Hylian royal family long ago. They worked in secret, so they lived in a lonely, forgotten place. But I heard that tribe dwindled in the prolonged wars. If you want to find that hidden village, look for a path leading to the Lanayru province on the far side of the bridge. Uh, yeah, on the far side of the bridge of Elden. But a rock. So uh, uh, who's talking? Okay, I think it's still the Goron Elder. It changed over to Ilya, and I got confused. What? Oh, I do not mean to worry you, little human. Problems like these are no problems of, uh, not problems of Gorons. How are you going to fit through the door? Okay. Our Patriarch, Darbus, will be waiting for you up ahead. Look, uh, look at your map to see where. I will try to find the path beyond the Bridge of Elden that leads to the Lanayru province. Yeah, another really weird-ass location we gotta go to. Yeah. Also, if I'm butchering the words, I'm sorry. It's because I've been recording for a very long time, so there's some flub-ups here and there. I apologize. So, if we go on the map, it's still targeting this for some reason. But what we want to do is, well, as Darbus, er, Darbus, as the Patriarch man, dude, Gor uh, was it Gorkoron? Uh, I don't remember his name. We gotta warp on over to the Bridge of Elden, basically. I'm pretty sure. Just making sure. Uh. Or no. No, we can just take a Pona. What am I doing? All right, let's go get a Pona. Never mind. It's not that far away. We can just hoof it there, quite literally.
See, the thing that's pissing me off is that the flag is still here for the objective, which is not helping matters. Now, thankfully, I do have everything labeled in my notes, so I know where to go, but that's kind of annoying for people who don't know where to really go. I mean, you get the hint from the Elder, but that's about it. Anyway, head out to the northwestern exits. So, will it update now? Oh, now it updates. Okay. So, I guess, yeah, you could just teleport to the Bridge of Elden. Which, I mean, I'm already riding a Pona all the way over there, so I might as well just... What the balls? Why are you guys out here? Why do you have flaming arrows? Man, you guys really don't give up. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Didn't mean to bonk you off your boar. Yeah. Opponent moves fast enough anyway. We don't need to really worry about teleporting. Plus, we haven't ridden a Pona in so long. Like, we've only ridden a Pona to get across to different places. Like, for collectible sake. And that's pretty much it, so. Anyway, on the map. Now, we kind of did run past this place a long time ago. I just never made any mention of it. And to be fair, this is a very well hidden off area. Like, holy crap, you're lucky if you run into this place by accident, so. Uh, Epona, oh my god, you and corners do not mix. Oh my god, there we go. Head on over here. And look towards the left after these archers. And you will see a little alcove here. Uh, get screwed, archer, bacoblin, uh, or not bacoblin, bulblin. And over here is the secret cave. Sup, Darbus? How you doing? He is just one punching everything. Yeah. There is a hidden village up ahead, little human. The elders call it a forgotten place. This scent has, that has been burning in my nostrils. It is the scent of evil. There is one powerful creature I have seen about, but under that beast are many minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. There are 30. No, at most 20 of them ahead. They are probably just a small band of survivors, ragged remnant, uh, remnants who have settled leaderless into this village. If that is all there are, little human, then you alone are more than enough to fur them. But you will have to defeat them all to save that girl's benefactor. Before you go, I will tell you the secret to besting them. Destroy them all before they can spot you. Got it, little human? I don't think I need tips, bro. I've been through a lot of journeys. Just saying. But yeah. I highly recommend having a bow for this. Because holy crap. Actually, I'm going to put it on this one because I don't need it on anything else. And then we'll put... I just really like the spinner. So out here. You got all these bulblin archers. And really funny scene. Yeah, this really turned into a western, huh? It's high noon. Actually, it's not noon. It's like nighttime, but you know what? It's, it's fine. Fire! And you get this really cool music to boot. All you gotta do is just kill all these archers, which is very easy. We'll explode that. We'll kill you. Uh, we'll kill you right in front of us, and we'll go and kill you. Yeah, this is pretty easy to go and take care of. Now... A lot of these guys are in really weirdo spots, like, on top of this, or on top of these little ledges, I guess you could say. But most of them you can go and snipe. Pretty sure most of them you can. But yeah, this is just a fun little mini game to go and snipe all these guys if you so wish. Go snipe you. Now, there's nothing limiting you from just going and using a sword on all these guys, but it's so much more fun if we just blow them up and shoot them with arrows and such. Blow his ass up. And then some of them are inside buildings like this. Up, uh, hi, buddy. Boink and boink. Up, uh, boink. Ah, uh, fastest hand in the West. Up, uh, what up, balls? Hey, buddy, buddy. Can I? Up. Uh, there's one behind the thing. Okay, die first of all. Up. Uh, I didn't hit you. I hit the. <laughs> I hit the damn thing behind you. Okay. Now we'll head over here and shoot your ass. Hey, buddy. Up. Uh, shot your buddy by accident. Three more left. Uh, where are... Oh, I see one of you. If I can go back here, maybe I can kill y'all. Uh, turn around. Damn. Okay, I'm surprised it goes through that. So, yeah, pretty funny. And, yeah, you can just 
bust your way into these windows and just slaughter them. It's just really funny. I, I like this little mini game a lot. All right, any more, you guys? There's a chicken and a howling stone. Yeah, that's our final howling stone of the entire game. So where is this last guy? Is he not in there? Is he in here? He's probably in here. I never, I always forget where one of them is, and yeah, it's kind of annoying. Um, I think we can just claw shot over here, can we? Oh yeah, we can, we can claw shot to this. Okay, where is this last guy? Is he up here? Um, uh, looking like a no. But yeah, this music is just really funny. I, I don't know, I think it's just really cool that they made this into like a little fun western mini game thing. Okay, let me check around here. Maybe he's like back here somewhere. Where is this last guy? I would have seen him at this point, I think. Uh, can't destroy that. Okay, let me go back inside here. Maybe, maybe he's somewhere in here. Oh, I hear him. Oh, there he is. Uh, oh, he's on top of that. What the balls? I don't remember that being a spot. All right. Asshole, you're done. Oh, he fell onto the table. That was just sad. The howls of the beasts, they faded into silence. Hello, you made me miss a blue rupee, you asshole. Wait, are you? The savior, it's you, the savior. Please, please forgive me for not opening up the door. My name is Impas. I'm the last resident of this poor village. My name comes from the great one who built this village so long ago. This village was once the secret home of a proud tribe who served the royal family. But it fell into decline and it became infested with dangerous beasts. It's become an awful place. Excuse me for asking, but is your name Link? Ah, I knew it. So then, you'd save that nice girl. How lovely. When she was here, she would often cheer me up by saying that you would come to help. That sweet girl. She worried about this old woman even as I helped her to escape from here. By royal order, I can't leave this place until a certain person arrives. No matter what terrible fate is visited upon it. Oh, but listen to me blather on. I have a favor to ask. Would you help me return this to her? I think she always kept it close to her heart, but even so, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect me. Ilya's charm. I believe in my heart that it's kept me safe all this time. So please, I ask that you return it to that girl. We now have the key to restore Ilya's memory. And by extension, we have Impa's here, who is totally not a descendant of Impa, just saying. <laughs> but anyway, now that we have rescued the Impa's from her own village, seriously, why would you want to live here? Jesus. I'm going to end things off there. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, we'll be returning the charm back to Ilya in hopes of returning her memory. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.